Welcome Galactic Family. How to release me of fear and addiction? Question. Hello beloved masters. Gratitude for being with me now. Once I read a channel of Master Saint Germain, he said that there is a spiritual law. That when we focus with anxiety and fear in relation to one situation it changes, because focus takes experience to another way, but then it says that this matter is for another time. Beloved Master, I am waiting anxiously for this moment in which you will explain to us better about the case, as it happens. I always put a lot of anxiety and fear when there is something in which I have great expectations for it to happen. I am afraid that it will not happen, and I want to create the necessary strength to overcome the pain, because I am afraid of not being strong enough to see everything going wrong and suffering. I know that we must follow in the flow of life in full acceptance, and I try, but this causes me great discomfort. The fears are there. What can I do then to finally free myself from this cycle? Sometimes I think I will never be able to, because I have tried many times. Gratitude. Answer. Daughter. Consciousness is what creates all life experiences. Time and space are creations of consciousness, so it is the very physics of life. And consciousness vibrates on many levels, in different spectra. If you vibrate on the level of fear, anxiety, wanting ego, or pride, the creation effect ends up paralyzing, interrupting the natural flow. Imagine an inspired painter performing a beautiful work of art. If there is anxiety for finalization of the process, the creative flow is interrupted. The process crystallizes and the picture may even end, but it will not have the sweetness of God's perfect timing. If you begin to sow a food and at all times open the pan anxious for the process to end, it will be disrupting the natural process of cooking, and food will not reach the perfect point. One has to have harmony and inner peace in all the processes of life. For when one desires something, one creates a mental collapse between the now and the future and the mental feelings of fear and attachment to the immediate result end up paralyzing the creative process. When you let go and trust the best, you know you know the result. The high energy vibrating frequency materializes the object. It is enough to want and let go of the universe, letting the flow lead you. When you feel anxious or afraid of the desired result, be still and imagine yourself immersed in the white flame of purity. Stay focused for as long as you need, and as many times as necessary, until you achieve peace, balance, and harmony as to the object of desire. And remember, all attachments are nothing but the roots of suffering. Be in peace. I'm Serapis Bay. I feel Angus and Squeeze. Question. Good morning, my dear ones. It is always a pleasure to receive guidance from you. Masters, I've felt a lot of anguish. I feel a tightness in my chest, and this has become more and more frequent. Sometimes I wake up feeling like this, or in the middle of the day, or during the work of expanding consciousness with Ayahuasca tea. I'm getting confused and sad with so much anguish and I do not understand why. Please tell me why, and tell me what I can do to at least alleviate it. Thank you for your love and support. Answer. Daughter, for some time you needed external help to work on your awakening and release so that the cleaning work began to take place. But remember, external aid is always temporary, it's just the first step, the push needed to start the walk. And this is Ayahuasca's role for you. Therefore, you will feel exactly the same with any therapeutic practice. You have reached the door of consciousness, and now you need to take the first step in. And that first step is only yours. Without outside help, 
They have all reached the limit where it was possible, and now the work is with you. Therefore daughter, you should work only the inner silence, observe carefully what you feel, and deepen your emotions. You are already able to investigate what takes place within yourself, and that no longer resonates with the level reached consciousness expansion. You now need to clean the house so that you can continue the expansion work even further. Watch your emotions, enter into yourself. Your consciousness will now not expand to the outer and to manifestations of lightness and higher dimensions. But your conscience needs to work now in the manifestation of your feelings, the source, the root. Enter into yourself, accept what is still part of you, and purify with acquired wisdom. The work will be self-purification, and only through it can you continue your journey of consciential expansion. I am Melchai's deck. How to unleash the process of peace and prosperity? Question. Greetings, beloved masters. This year I have undergone many transformations and wonderful encounters, and a growing awareness of my mission in the world. I am changing my habits and my diet and I see that there is a lot to transform. Still, I live with a constant doubt about where I live, a large metropolis with little nature. I feel that my place is not here and that I will be happier elsewhere. However, I see the work potential of light and transformation that there is here to accomplish, despite the oppressive structure. I have so much to offer that I do not know where to start. With much respect, could you enlighten me about some priority on which I must focus to unleash a process of peace and prosperity in my life and those around me? Thank you very much. Answer 1. Son. Your walk alone is already a light. It is the light to illuminate the hidden recesses of the soul of many who are on their way. Be always present where your heart awakens. Trust the call. In the call of the soul, it will always ignite the flame of love towards its real purpose of life. The great walk, my son, is the one that decides to come to the moment of storm and option to be in paradise. It is the true story of the master, who during the walk realizes how much he should share his learning with those who are still dazzled by the illusion of the same walk, which is not easy for those who have not yet awakened to the heart. Realize that the same feeling and situations that live, is also experienced by many, who have not yet awakened to the call of the heart. They are dazzled by the illusion of matter and suffering without the cherishing of the heart that brings the hope that everything is an illusion and the truth is only in the call to the act of love. Always be present, my son. But not just in one place or another to work, whether in the country, in the woods or in the city. But wherever you are, be present always to radiate your love and your loving and hopeful look for life. His look of awakening from the inner truth that is the call to his purpose. May your light shine, just as you are, always. And you will gradually realize that you will stop attuning to suffering, for it becomes an uninterrupted channel of love. Be light. I'm Maitreya. Answer 2. Beloved son. It's full of beliefs. You are forcing the process of your own purification. Do not you see, son, wherever there is always an opportunity to vibrate love, joy, peace and fullness? The pains you carry in your heart will be carried wherever you go, even in the silence of a mountaintop. Wherever you are, if you look deeply into yourself, you will see the roots of your attachment, of desires, all of you together. For everything there is perfect time and if you are where you are, take advantage of the opportunities of your own overcoming, without designing places where you might be happier. Look at happiness in the now, at that moment, and do not save it for a promising future. As you said, you have so much to offer right where you are. Rely on the process of your enlightenment, 
your manners and guides. Trust the universe that will bring you the experiences you need for your evolution. Do not make it into another mental will. Be in peace. I am your brother of love, Jesus. I feel that I should turn off the Cardasista group that I do part. Question. Masters, thank you for all the light and love that you send us always. I have been part of a Cardasista group for a long time. I feel useful and very grateful for the opportunity to help, but lately I am feeling disconnected from this group, unmotivated, I do not know how to explain, I only know that I have the desire to get out of the center. I am in conflict, because I like the works, but I do not want to be where I am anymore and my doubt is if I am somehow being carried away by my illusions or by my ego. I would like if possible, that you could help me, I know that the final decision is mine, but I hope to do it with full responsibility before my commitments and without worrying about judgments and guilts, feeling free to do what is best of my uncertainties. Thank you once again to the masters for so much love and the channelers for so much light in this work. Answer. Daughter. The first step in doing what you want is to be clear about what you really want. What prevents her from moving forward in the materialization of her desire is only her judgment. You judge yourself for wanting to seek your way and follow your heart. You attach yourself to beliefs and what you have been taught, but what has been interpreted is only an illusory view of matter. Understand that everything you have learned is right or wrong and even the meaning of self, is only a restricted view of matter, which limits you from following your heart. Free yourself and follow your path, transcending your own judgment that nourishes by your heart calling. Sarah Pispate